Did you ever think about how much screen time is too much for your child? It's a question that's been on the minds of many in this digital age. Screen time management is crucial for children's overall well-being. Excessive screen time can have significant consequences on a child's physical health, leading to issues like poor posture and vision problems. It can also affect their mental health, leading to conditions such as anxiety and depression. Furthermore, too much screen time can hinder a child's social skills, limiting their ability to interact and communicate effectively with others. On the flip side, screen time can be beneficial when used appropriately. It can provide educational content and foster tech skills that are essential in today's world. However, the key lies in striking the right balance, ensuring that your child's screen time is not just limited, but also meaningful, is crucial. Remember, the key to healthy screen time is creating age-specific guidelines. So, how do we create these age-specific guidelines? Well, the first step involves consulting a variety of experts. These include child development specialists, pediatricians, and educational psychologists. They provide us with a wealth of knowledge about the recommended screen time durations for different age groups. Once we've gathered this expert advice, we then categorize children into four main age groups. Zero to two years, three to five years, six to 12 years, and 13 to 18 years. We then assign appropriate screen time limits for each of these age groups based on the guidance provided by our experts. But the task doesn't end there. It's also important to differentiate between passive and interactive screen time. Passive screen time might involve watching a movie, while interactive screen time could include playing an educational game. Understanding this distinction helps us provide more nuanced guidelines for each age group. Remember, the type of content also matters. Let's quickly recap the main points about screen time guidelines. Managing screen time is paramount, not just for your child's physical health, but also for their cognitive and social development. When it comes to creating age-specific guidelines, we can't stress enough the importance of consulting with experts. Pediatricians, child development specialists, and educational psychologists offer invaluable insights into how screen time affects different age groups. Speaking of age groups, it's essential to divide them thoughtfully. Typically, we look at four categories, from birth to two years, three to five years, six to 12 years, and finally, 13 to 18 years. For each group, we should define appropriate screen time limits based on expert recommendations. Moreover, not all screen time is created equal. Differentiating between passive and interactive screen time and specifying the types of content suitable for each age group is key. Also, remember that balance is crucial. Screen time should complement, not replace, other vital activities. With these guidelines, you can ensure your child's screen time is healthy and beneficial. It's great to have you here, our precious parents and audiences, to a hub of inspiration and empowerment. Thrive in the game of life as we serve you a daily dose of motivation. Enjoyed the video? Show some love with a like, engage in our community with a comment. If you're new, take a leap forward. Hit subscribe, join us on this journey. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Pass the positivity around. We are Parent Next Step. Let's champion parenthood and experience life together. With our informative videos, expert advice, and a supportive community, we are your go-to resource for all things parenting. But we need your help too. Like this video, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest content. And if you haven't already, consider becoming a member of our parenting community. Together, we can navigate this amazing journey of parenthood. Join us today at Parent Next Step.